Insects Insects are the largest group of animals on earth. Some of the common insects we see around us are ants, bees, house flies, mosquitoes, butterflies, beetles, etc. They are found almost all over the world. Parts of an insect's body An insect's body can be divided into three distinct Head, thorax and abdomen. Number 1. Head An insect has two feelers called antennae on its head. Antennae help them to smell, feel and taste. Parts Two large eyes and mouth parts are also present on the head. Number 2. Thorax It has six, that is, three pairs jointed legs and four, that is, two pairs wings. 3. Abdomen Insects have holes on the abdomen. They breathe through these holes. We see small animals like spiders, scorpions, millipedes and centipedes. Are they insects? No, they are not insects. They do not have six legs or four wings like insects. They do not have three distinct body parts, head, thorax and abdomen like insects. Social insects Some insects like honeybees, ants and termites live together. The insects which live together are called social insects. Different activities like feeding the newborn, searching for food and shelter, protection and reproduction are done by different groups of insects. This system is called division of labor. Ants Ants are social insects. They have an excellent ability to live together and manage a colony well. They build an underground nest where they live. An ant. Colonies connected to each other and to the surface of the earth by small tunnels. There are rooms for nurseries, food storage, etc. There are three distinct types of ants in a colony. The queen ant, the male ants and the worker ants. 1. The queen ant. The queen ant is the mother of all the other ants. A queen ant is the largest in size among all ants. The only work of the queen ant is to lay eggs. An ant colony can have one or even many queens. 2. Male ants. There are some male ants in an ant colony. They die shortly after mating. 3. Worker ants. Most of the eggs develop into wingless, sterile females called worker ants. 3. Worker ants. There are different types of worker ants in a colony. A. Soldier ant. A soldier ant guards the opening of the nest to prevent enemies. B. Forager ant. A forager ant has to leave the nest in search of food. C. Nursery worker ants. They take care of the larvae that hatch from the eggs. D. Cleaner ant. A cleaner ant is responsible for cleaning the entire ant nest. Honeybees. Honeybees are also social insects that can survive only as a member of a community known as a colony. They live in beehives. The honeybee community consists of three structurally different types. The queen, female, the drone, male, and the worker, sterile female. Each type of honeybee has different functions in the colony. Number 1. The queen bee. The queen is the only egg-producing female in the community and thus is the mother of all drones. Number 2. The worker bee. The worker bees are sterile females. They cannot mate or lay eggs. They do most of the work. They look after the larvae. They secrete wax, build the honeycombs, gather nectar, pollen and water, convert the nectar into honey, clean the hive and also defend the hive. Number 3. The drone bee. It is a stingless and defenseless bee. Its function is to mate with the queen. After mating, the drone dies immediately. Useful insects. Many insects are useful to us. They help us in many ways. Number 1. Honeybees produce useful substances like honey 
and bee wax. Two, some insects like butterflies and honeybees carry pollen grains from one flower to another. Thus, they are called pollinating agents. Number three, lark insects give lark, which is used in manufacturing of toys, paints, buttons and bangles. Lark is also used as a sealing material. Number four, some insects like ants and cockroaches eat up the dead plants and animals, thereby keeping the environment clean. We get silk fibers from silkworms. Silk fibers are used to make clothes such as saris. Harmful insects. Not all of the insects are useful to us. Some insects are harmful to us. Number one, locusts destroy our food crops. Number two, mosquitoes, mites, bad bugs and lice suck our blood. Female Anopheles mosquitoes cause malaria. Cloth moth makes holes in our clothes. Cockroaches and houseflies carry a lot of germs and dirt on their bodies. They sit on open food items and contaminate them. When we eat these food items, we fall sick. Number five, termites destroy wood. Getting rid of unwanted insects at home. One, we should have a proper drainage system in our homes. Two, kerosene oil or DDT should be sprayed on the surface of ponds and lakes to kill the eggs and larvae of mosquitoes. Three, we should change the water of room coolers regularly. When they are not in use, remove the water. Four, we should use naphthalene balls or dry neem leaves to protect our clothes from insects. Five, we should cover our food properly. Six, we should sweep and mop the floor daily. Seven, drains must be cleaned from time to time. Eight, the ditches must be filled with soil to stop the breeding of mosquitoes. We should keep our home and the surroundings clean to keep away the harmful insects. A clean home is a healthy home. A clean home is a healthy home.